Welcome to another episode of the uh, Dukes of Hazard uh, build of the General Lee. Um, as you can see in front of you, I have pretty much completed the uh, engine assembly. <clears throat> and uh, just to let you know, I did hand paint uh, uh, all the uh, components of the uh, of the engine itself. Uh, uh, this was a little bit easier for me to do. Uh, than to try to uh, use my airbrush and try to airbrush every single little uh, piece. Um, but I do want to kind of talk about how this uh, uh, engine uh, kind of went together, uh, which for the most part uh, uh, was pretty good. Um, <clears throat> there was, in the, you know, for me anyways, uh, as far as one part, the uh, I guess you want to call this the uh, distributor cap, uh, in order of assembling these parts um, when it came time for uh, let's see if I can get a little pointer here and bring it up here a little bit close uh, <clears throat> but when it came time to put this uh, distributor cap on there uh, it was interfering uh, with part of the engine block uh, itself when I tried to put it on the locator pin so what I ended up doing was actually taking out my file again and uh, on the back side I uh, flattened it out because the strip cat it, distributor cap is round so so uh, part of the distributor cap I did file down to flatten it out a little bit so that it would slide over the locator pin and not interfere with the rest of the engine block so that was one issue uh, that was resolved as far as putting the engine together uh, other than that, uh, <clears throat> the rest of the uh, engine, like I said, was put together, uh, you know, pretty easy. Um, I did uh, use, uh, to start off with, for a primer, was my Folk Art Steel Gray. And I just hand-painted everything for the primer. Then uh, I went to the uh, orange, for the Craft Smart Orange, for the engine block. And uh, as far as the distributor cap, the instructions was calling for a tan color. So I took some uh, Craftsmart Brown satin and some satin white uh, and lightened it up uh, to kind of make a, a tan look to it. Um, <clears throat> as far as the uh, fan belts and the fan itself, uh, I basically just hand brushed on the um, satin Craftsmart Black for that part. Uh, as far as I guess these are the exhaust pipes coming off the uh, engine manifold uh, uh, several uh, different colors I used on this here uh, I, again I started with the uh, steel gray primer and uh, then I took some of the metallic uh, silver sterling <clears throat> and painted that on as well and then I went ahead and uh, I took some Tamiya colors. I, I took two, uh, the Copper XF-6, uh, and just lightly dry brushed it around the uh, the pipes, along with the uh, Tamiya uh, Gunmetal X-10, uh, and then I just used my uh, heat gun to uh, dry uh, in between the uh, the colors. Uh, as far as the transmission is concerned, uh, same thing. I just, you know, uh, went back over with the metallic um, sterling silver, and then I used some of the uh, folk art metallic uh, ice blue, just kind of give a little bit of some color to it. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, for the engine. Um, I do have to say, uh, when installing the exhaust pipes here. Uh, I don't know if the camera pick up on it or not, but uh, this area right here, as far as the molding process, you can see the thickness when being attached to the uh, to the block on this end. But when you turn it over to the other side, uh, it's much much thinner. So I don't know how that's going to affect it once I put it into the uh, you know chassis end of it and start hooking everything up to to line everything. So we'll see if uh, another issue will present itself uh, when the time comes. But uh, 
I just noticed, you know, because the molding is so bad that, uh, um, you know, I have to kind of live with it and uh, and uh, see what happens when I start putting it together to the rest of the body of the car. But anyways, there she is, the uh, the uh, engine for the uh, General Lee in all its glory. <laughs> and uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back. And we're back. And uh, right now I'm going to be in the process of uh, actually uh, airbrushing the part of the uh, chassis here. Uh, I'm going to start off uh, with the bottom uh, part of the chassis and I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, black satin acrylic paint uh, as well as uh, of course the windshield uh, washer to thin it down with and I'm going to go ahead and spray it with my uh, Pache uh, airbrush uh, so uh, go ahead and uh, uh, we'll give her a we'll give her a mix and uh, show you again you know basically how I go about doing this um, pretty much shake up the bottle first uh, uh, make sure that uh, it'll flow out of the, the bottle right um, <clears throat> I basically go ahead and use my little cup here and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and fill her up about you know a third to halfway since I'll probably go ahead and then um, spraying some other parts as well besides the chassis we'll see how it goes and yeah, that's about halfway uh, in the cup and like I said there's no science to this we're just uh, experimentation and just kind of learn as you go um, so let's go ahead and halfway there so one two three six seven eight nine ten start off with ten little drops in there I use a toothpick we will go ahead and stir her up a little bit as you can see and uh, like I said the uh, you want the consistency to be around, you know, 2% milk. Um, I basically just kind of see how it drips off the uh, the toothpick. Sometimes I'll put it on the side of the cup and see how it runs down. But uh, like I say, you don't want it too thin, otherwise it's going to be more of a water splatter on your, uh, you know, on the part you're spraying. Um, but that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and give her a shot um, go ahead and do a little bit of some adjusting with the uh, nozzle and uh, open her up a little bit just to get the paint flowing sorry about the noise that's just the air compressor cutting in There you go. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get her started. Right now, I'm just going to kind of put some uh, light coats on. Actually, for this Beche uh, airbrush, I'm using a number five for the nozzle part of it because um, uh, that's kind of the best thing for dealing with uh, large uh, large objects. I'm just giving it a light coat. I say it is acrylic, so. Uh, It's water-based and uh, easy cleanup. Right. 
Sorry if I'm not talking too much there. I'm just kind of uh, making sure I'm getting all the spots. All right, we're going to go ahead and let that sit for a few minutes because uh, uh, with the uh, acrylic paints, they do tend to dry up uh, pretty fast. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned. And we're back again. And as you can see, <clears throat> we have the uh, underside of the chassis all uh, airbrushed on with the uh, CraftSmart uh, black satin. So... Uh, what I'll end up doing too is uh, uh, I'll be putting some future on this uh, just to protect the paint uh, so uh, it doesn't easily uh, scratch off since we're dealing with acrylic paints here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty well dried right now. I used the heat gun uh, to uh, accelerate the uh, dry part of it, but uh, there she is. Uh, while I had the airbrush out, I went ahead and took a look at the instructions to see what else needed the black. And I uh, went ahead and just airbrushed everything else. Uh, here's the, uh, you know, drive train and the, uh, or drive shaft, I guess, and the uh, rear axle part. And I'll take care of the mufflers and the leaf springs with some uh, uh, aluminum or chrome silver uh, just to highlight off the black on that. And uh, I went ahead and resprayed the uh, battery in the black. So that is now done. And I uh, went ahead and took care of this guy. That's going to fit in the front of the uh, front grill and the, the bumper. I guess that's the brush guard. So that is now painted, and uh, this is one of two of the, uh, I guess, the headlight covers that are going to uh, be applied to the uh, chrome. So that is now done, and go ahead and take care of the, uh, I guess, real wheel hubs or brake drums. Sorry, I'm not much of a car guy that I know all the parts but uh, there they are that called out for some black paint too as well so I airbrushed that as well uh, so that is done and then of course we have uh, you know our parts for the roll bar um, which also called for black so I just went ahead and uh, sprayed all the uh, parts there's like uh, four parts of the roll bar I won't show you all of them but uh, and of course then with the supposed fit issues with this uh, you know I'll probably have to trim some back and then uh, touch it up later with some more black paint so that is done and uh, then we have our radiator part and uh, so that is now done so pretty much uh, everything that need to be painted black is uh, now done and uh, dry. Um, so I say the next episode will probably start. Uh, uh, I can go ahead and probably paint the top side of the chassis here um, in the uh, signature orange or reddish orange um, and start working on that. But uh, yeah, for right now, uh, we are moving along and. Uh, Go ahead and put this back on there so you're not staring at a blank thing. But uh, yeah, we're we're going ahead and moving along, and then uh, for the next episode, uh, uh, we'll uh, have some more sub assemblies uh, done. Uh, so until then, uh, have a good day, and we'll catch y'all later. Bye.